welcome back to my channel my name is christian if it's your first time seeing me go ahead and like this video because i know you're gonna like it already subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload and if you already are subscribed hey babies welcome back so hi guys i don't know about y'all but i've just been on a roll the last couple of days with the back-to-back -back videos and we're just gonna keep it going um so today we're gonna talk about how i put myself first and do not feel guilty about it so like i said i'm kind of on a kick where the videos are just talking about how i've learned to do things in my real life and i feel like that's you know a different viewpoint for you guys and i think you guys are enjoying these videos so let's get into it of course you guys can always book private sessions with me at the link down below i have a cyber witch camp that is going to be starting in october which is a four week virtual retreat so if you guys are interested in that then you can check that out as well in the description box um but yeah let's just go ahead and get into the video i don't like to do too much yapping so let's just go ahead and talk about this so for me, when it comes to putting me first, I feel like the most important thing to know is the reason you put yourself first in the first place. You know, when you put yourself first, it isn't an act of being selfish. It isn't because you want to say, fuck everybody, you know, you put yourself first because that's the only way to really get the things that you want to get, be the person you want to be, be who you want to be for the people around you. You know, sacrificing yourself and putting yourself on the back burner really doesn't give you anything. And attention is everything as we always say so i definitely feel like for me the first thing was just understanding that putting myself first really is the foundation for being able to be taken seriously being able to set boundaries having boundaries on yourself being able to let it be known what you like what you don't like you know and also understanding that everyone is constantly putting themselves first without even thinking about it you know like that's just how most of us are bred as humans to be self-sufficient and just do whatever we can do to you know take care of ourselves and i also feel like putting everyone before you is also kind of you know an act of being self-sufficient because we feel like if everything around us is good that will be good you know we take care of everybody we help everybody because we think that that's going to make our life better or we feel like you know that energy is going to allow karma to come back to us and it does it definitely does but you know abuse of your time and your energy is real and allowing people to abuse your time and energy you aren't going to be getting anything good back from that you know especially if you are understanding and knowing that the things that you're doing are not going to be coming back to you tenfold i feel like a lot of times you know we sacrifice ourselves in spaces because we know that they wouldn't do it for us and you know somebody has to give something in the relationship or you might not even feel like it's valuable you know so i feel like sometimes to give worth to a relationship where there really isn't much there we overextend ourselves and we make sure that we always answer the call and we always open the conversation because if we don't do it it won't be done but that's not really a healthy relationship or a relationship that can really sustain you you know what i'm saying and the objective or the idea that you should feel guilty or selfish or ashamed for putting yourself first it's crazy and i really feel like it's just based on the notion that we are here um to help everybody else especially for women you know we especially are made to feel like we should be nurturing and caring for everyone in our lives and that just is not the case you know what i'm saying unless you are married or have children you really don't have anyone that you are supposed to be taken care of besides you you know and even then you still have to put yourself first because you are the center of your life you are the foundation so if the foundation is all cracked and disrespected and abused and thrown to the side what can you build from a foundation like that nothing except for relationships that are based on the same thing relationships that are fueling the same thing and like i said in my other video you really leave yourself open to so many spiritual attacks and abuse when you do not you know know yourself and you do not um put yourself first and i really feel like for me you know sometimes we are taught to take care of everyone else first or worry about everyone else first but i've just always felt like i had to be in my own corner and i feel like in life i've been disappointed by a lot of people and i'm sure all of us have been disappointed by a lot of folks and that's just you know caused me to really realize that there's only one person that's going to have me 
on their minds 24 7 not a gap in the day not a break in the day and that is me and that isn't to say that the people in my life don't care about me but everybody is their own main character everyone is the center of their own universe and you cannot expect people to be thinking of you and focused on you and thinking of you and loving you because you're not doing that to yourself you know you can't just sacrifice yourself for everyone else and then expect them to pour into you what you've given them and that is a lot of times what we expect that we're going to give all we have and sacrifice everything and lay ourselves bare so they see that and reciprocate that but a lot of people haven't even access for that you know a lot of people don't even want that from you and people are greedy by nature i feel like people are going to take whatever is being offered to them you know if you are with someone who is like oh i don't care about money i don't care about money if they end up being with someone who wants to give them a million dollars a day i'm sure they'll accept it you know like people not everybody but a lot of people will just take it if it's there especially if you are giving and giving and giving and giving a lot of people you know aren't really familiar with that type of um that type of generosity you know like you might be that one friend in the group that anybody can come to for anything you'll always drop everything you're doing and say yes or you might be the one person in the family that's always doing it everybody else isn't doing it the people around you aren't doing that in their relationships you know the things that you are doing for others would they do them for you the answer is probably no and that should let you know right there if you should be overextending yourself or not like would they be doing this for you would they be inconveniencing themselves and weighing themselves down for you and most of the times they wouldn't do that you know and that in itself causes me to not feel guilty about it you know because i know that everyone is doing the same thing and that it is absolutely a survival tactic to just have your needs you know first um, but there is a way to have that balance where you're looking to serve yourself because in serving yourself, you serve your community. When you make decisions that better yourself, they end up bettering your community. And like, let's say, for example, someone is on drugs and they are wanting to get clean and they become clean and they're able to be a better parent and a better friend and a better person on their job and impact all of these people in beautiful ways and, you know, serve people in all of these beautiful ways. Or this person can serve themselves by getting themselves you know another hit of whatever drug they're on because it feels good and it's gonna stop them from feeling sick and going through withdrawal and you know it's what they're comfortable in so it's easier for them to do that you know it's things pulling us in every direction and just because you have something that's pulling you in a direction or something that's available to you it doesn't mean that it's the right option to take and there are ways that you can serve yourself just selfishly and there are ways that you can serve yourself while you serve your community and letting people walk all over you is not serving your community because what are they learning about boundaries you know like if you have a friend that is verbally abusive and always puts you down and talks reckless and crazy to you and they do that to everyone in their life then why would you not speak up about that or even if they're just doing that to you why would you not speak up about that if you know it's wrong you know, if you know it's wrong or inappropriate for someone to ask something of you over and over and over again and never say thank you, never show gratitude, never do anything for you in return, why would you not speak up about that and let them know, hey, this is not right. This is not working for me. This does not make sense. This, this, does this feel right to you? Because it doesn't feel right to me, you know. It doesn't serve either of you for you to see someone doing something bad and not say anything about it. And that is so serving in itself, just speaking up. And letting, it, and letting it be known, you know, what you need, you know what I'm saying? Because you're serving yourself by speaking your truth, but you also are serving your community because now they know what they need to do better. You know, there's never a space when serving yourself is the wrong thing to do. And I really feel like if you always lead with serving yourself, everyone around you is going to be benefiting from that, especially if you're serving yourself, you know, not just thinking about satisfaction in the moment, but serving yourself in a way that's going to benefit you for the long run. Also, I feel like sometimes we like to stay busy. We like to have a lot going on. So if we feel like we have a little time to spare, we'll take on, you know, something. So you also just want to get comfortable with leisure. You want to get comfortable with sitting on your ass and not doing something some days. Every single day, you don't have to be move, 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 get up, get up, get up, go around, go. You like, you don't have to be on go from the moment you open your ass to the moment you close your
close your eyes. Like, it's okay to say no because you have time to sit around and not do nothing. Just because you're not doing nothing doesn't mean that you need to fill that time up with helping someone or being there for someone. Like, that could easily be time that God has set aside for you to have for you. And because you don't recognize that, you've already filled it up with a chore or an errand or something that you can do for someone else. And I think it's really telling when you have people in your life who take advantage of your generosity. You know, I have, all of my friends are very generous and I can call them all right now and ask them for whatever. If they have it, they'll give it to me. But that doesn't mean I call them every day or that I call them at all asking for anything. Because just because someone's going to give it to you doesn't mean that you should take it. And I feel like people with integrity and people who understand that and people who just aren't selfish aren't always going to ask and ask and ask it's very 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 selfish for people to continuously ask you knowing that you're going to say yes and knowing that they can put you in an uncomfortable anxious position and make you say yes even if you don't want to like that is very abusive for people to put you in situations because they know you're anxious and you're awkward and you can't say no like if you know that you have a friend like that or someone like that in your life you should not take advantage of them and people should not take advantage of you and I've definitely been in spaces where you know I just talked about not having my voice you know so I've been in spaces where I didn't have my voice and where I was allowing whatever everyone else said to kind of go and I just went along with that and I never felt fulfilled I always felt like I couldn't make my own choices I always felt like I was kind of in limbo just waiting to see if someone needed me or if someone would rather do this or this and you really can't live your life doing that because by the time you focus on you, so much time will have passed, you know what I'm saying? If you're constantly in mom mode or constantly in boss mode, like think about how long it takes for you to kind of snap out of that and be like, oh wait, what do I need? Or how can I do this? Or how can I be better? Like it might be months or even years or sometimes it isn't even until your kids are out of the house that you're like, wait, what do I need? Or what do I like? You know, when you don't put yourself first, you really lose touch with yourself. You forget what you enjoy. You forget the things that you do need. So when you do have a platform where people are like, hey, I love you. I want to support you. How can I help you out? What do you need from me as a friend? You won't even know what to say to them because you don't even know what you need. And you haven't ever had conversations with your friends or people in your life about how they can better serve you or how they can better be there for you. You know what I'm saying? Everyone in your life should be serving a purpose. You should be serving a purpose in their life. And you aren't doing anyone any good just being a punching bag or letting them boss you around or letting them, you know, shadow dance all over your energy all day. Like you aren't benefiting anyone doing that. If anything, you're enabling that behavior um, and you don't want to be a part of that. Like I said, a lot of times we get caught up in people's karma in different situations because we, you know, might miss the mark or we don't want to speak up. But, you know, like I said, finding your voice on your own is so important and so key because doing that allows you to speak up in any space because you're familiar with your voice and you know your voice, you know, and just starting to see how you can put yourself first little by little like plan a week of you know things for you to do don't let don't help anybody that week don't respond to anybody that week if you can't do a week just do a day or just do you know monday through wednesday do the first half of the week where that is your time for you and you aren't doing anything for anybody you are saying no you are choosing you and when you start doing that little by little you will realize oh i finally have time to do things i always wanted to do like there's so many things that we put on the back burner to sacrifice for everyone else and you might not even get gratitude for maybe the job that you missed because you were late to your interview because you had to go pick somebody up or do something that didn't even matter you know like or the the money that you missed out on because you couldn't go on a vacation because you helped somebody out you know with something that they didn't really need or whatever the case may be it's not your job to pay anybody else's bills or take care of anybody else or support anybody else like i said unless you're married or unless you have kids but it is not your job to baby or take care of anybody because we all have issues everyone is going to be struggling from one point or another so of course you want to help the people that are around you but you do not want to continuously pour into spaces that you know are not going to pour into you especially if you can't find spaces that this person is valuable to you you know if you just know them for a really long time or whatever the case may be you know 
please that doesn't even matter you want to visibly see yourself getting better and feeling better about yourself because of the people that you have in your life you don't want to feel drained or feel anxious about answering a phone call or being around them because you're going to be in an uncomfortable position like that isn't a real friend and you don't want to feel like you owe people like that anything you know what i'm saying because you are worth so much more than that and i really feel there is so much um you know, joy and security that comes from just choosing you and putting yourself first and, you know, finding power in that because there is power in that. And like I said, the more time you spend with you, the more time you can become a better version of you, express yourself more, be more loving, be more open, you know, reflect on things differently. Like when you spend all of your time focusing on everybody else, like there's so much baggage that you hold on to, so much stuff that gets built up, like it's not always going to end good when you are constantly putting yourself on the back burner. A lot of people have blow ups where they end up losing friendships for good because they've just allowed themselves to be abused for too long. And I don't think anyone ever wants to get to that point because when you are in a space of being very selfless and putting everyone before you, you want to restore peace to a situation. You want things to be happy and peaceful. You don't want to end a situation in a crazy blow up. You don't want to even take it there, you know? So, I really feel it's key to just understand what you want to bring to the table, how you want to bring it to the table, and, you know, just to understand who you are and the role that you are playing in your own life and in your own story. Kind of take a step back from what everybody else needs from you and what you can do for everyone else. So think about you and what you need from you and how you can best serve you. And when you have that, like at center stage it's really nothing that anybody else can tell you honestly and you have to think about how much better you'll feel when you start choosing you and setting aside time for you and honoring yourself and nurturing yourself like you will feel powerful you will feel strong because you will know that you stood up for you it's literally like you have a relationship with yourself like you're the big sister or you know like the big cousin and you're able to literally call on you and get the business clear whenever somebody is taking advantage of you like think about how you look up to that person that always protects you and loves you that's how you will start to feel about yourself like do not see yourself as someone that's just floating through life here to take care of everyone else and please everybody else and be there for everybody else. You're really supposed to be all those things for you. And in doing that, you're able to connect with people who will best serve that version of you. You'll be able to serve them a lot better. You know, no good comes from sacrificing yourself or putting everything you want and love on the line for someone else or for love. That's not love. You know, love is not total complete and utter sacrifice you know it should not be that and if you feel like you have to sacrifice who you are what you want you know what you believe your ability to make decisions for yourself if you have to sacrifice that for love or for a relationship it's not worth it because when you lose those things they affect you so much more down the line like how can you feel guilty about something that has made you a better businesswoman or a better you know person in business or you know a better mom or a better dad or a better partner a better friend like putting yourself first makes you better in so many spaces like you can take care of yourself and you're happier and your energy is better and you know what you need and you feel more confident like it only benefits your relationships and being in spaces where you never connect with yourself and you don't know who you are it's like you might not be aware of that but you are dying inside little by little like we are not made to not be nurtured and not be cared for like we are literally bred you know in our mother's wombs we are attached to our moms and connected to our moms and we pass so much energy through connection and through community it's like you aren't supposed to be in this life you know completely on your own as a lone ranger with no one helping you and pouring into you you aren't meant to be in that space you know you're supposed to be nurtured and cared for and everyone around you should be nurturing you and you should be nurturing yourself as well like whenever we are on our own in this world as an adult you have to find a way to nurture yourself it's like even if that nurturing isn't there or even if you're not familiar with that or it's been a while since you have that, it doesn't mean that your spirit isn't still longing for it. You might feel like you're okay always being the go-to person for everybody, but then not knowing the last time somebody asked you, can I take you out? Can I do something for you? Can I help you out? Do you need help with something? Let me send you some money to bless your business. Let me send you some money for gas. Let me send you some money for, you know, for, um, for coffee or whatever. You know, it's like when you give and give and give and give and give, and you have to be in a point where you're like, wow, I know the last time someone thought about me or you know paid attention to me or cared about me it really makes you 
you know, just get depleted over time and it gets you into a space where you can't even pull on that generosity when you really, really need it. And there are so many people who get abused and have their time and their energy abused for so long. They don't ever want to be around people. They don't want to be around friends. They don't want to have kids anymore. All they want to do is be on their own and give that love to themselves. And that's not to say that that's a bad thing because however you find your way to yourself is a good thing, but you do not want to feel or develop a sour connection to community or friendship or people because that's not what friendship looks like. And I know a lot of people stay in situations or we don't let go of certain people because we feel like, well, everyone is gonna do this. I'm gonna leave these situations and walk right into something that's gonna be the same thing or I don't want to you know, play myself and act like this person is doing the most and it's okay and I'm really fine with it. You know, you wanna feel comfortable laying down whatever law you need to lay down. You know, like this is your life. You know, you have to be in control of your life. You have to be ready to pour into you and give you the things that you need. And you know what you need better than anybody. And if you're able to voice that and let that be known and let that be heard, you really will see, you know, so much growth in relationships across the board because it just takes you stepping up and standing up for you. And again, you set the tone, you set the standard. So whenever you do that, everyone will know what you need. They'll be able to give you that. You'll be more open to helping them. You'll be able to continuously grow because also that keeps you very stagnant and it keeps you in the same you know, space, you're not able to outgrow that space if you are constantly being, you know, your energy is being pulled all the time. So imagine if you're supposed to be someone that teaches a friend all of these great things, but you're never able to grow past the point when you meet them because they just drain you every single day. It's like that relationship could have been so much more if you just said, okay, wait, this isn't working for me. I need a little bit more of this or a little bit more of this. You know, it's definitely very difficult and very, very stressful. Um, and like I said, you know, anything that I learn and anything that I figure out, you'll still have moments of doubt or moments of confusion or moments of, I'm not really sure if this is really what I need or really what I want, but you really have to take care of you and really stand up for you and develop a relationship with you where you feel like I'm not going to let anyone come between me and me. And that's really how I feel. I can't let anyone come between me and me. If I've decided that I want to take a day off or that I want to lay down or that I want to do this, I can't let anybody, you know, allow me to be miserable or bully myself into, you know, making decisions that aren't the best decisions for me. You know, you really want to be the leader of your life and the conductor of your life. And I really feel we all know in our hearts who we're supposed to be around and be with. We can feel and long for the type of relationships that we need. So don't sell yourself short, you know, and don't feel like you have to be forced to please certain people or be there for them or answer when they call. If you know they're not doing that for you, do not play yourself and challenge yourself to find people who are going to give you the energy that you're going to be giving. Because when you do have friendships that are giving you that, the difference is literally like night and day. Like just being around them will make you feel so good. Like when I'm feeling stressed or feeling down or insecure, I call my friends and I go around them and they boost me up and they motivate me and they remind me of my accomplishments and they remind me of who the fuck I am. Like, you want that. You don't want to not have anybody to call because all they know how to do is take, take, take. They don't even know how to give to you and pour into you. So it starts with us, of course, setting the standard, knowing what we want and just making sure that we're ready to do whatever talking is necessary to step into that space. Like I said, I've had to, you know, tell certain friends this isn't working. I don't really like this. This isn't, you know, really what I need right now. It's always ended in spaces that I felt good about. And I definitely wish that I have always been putting myself first. But the second that I did start putting myself first, I really noticed my relationship with myself changing and my relationship with everyone around me. I'm definitely able to accept people for who they are a lot better because when you are constantly doing things for people, you're low key constantly expecting things from them as well because you're always waiting for that energy to be reciprocated. So I always was so disappointed and felt so let down because I'm like, oh, these people in my life, they never do anything or giving. It's like, why did I even start giving to them like that? Like, did they say that's what they needed? Is that what we discussed? Like, does this relationship even have to be based on that? Like every relationship doesn't have to be on giving and giving and giving and giving. Like I said, a lot of people will just take it if you are giving it. So just kind of scaling back a little bit, seeing the temperature of a relationship before you just put all of your chips on the table. You let this person know, hey, I'm willing to do whatever, whenever, call me, you know, like see what they're willing to do for you first. You already know what you're willing to do. You know, see the type of friend that someone is, see what someone needs. Every friend 
isn't going to be someone that needs you all the time. You know, I have friends that I reach out to on the daily because I know they need someone to talk to more than my other friends who are kind of, you know, more independent in that way. Like, take some time to learn the people around you and learn what they need from you. Um, and don't feel forced to give what they need. Give what you know you can give. I know I like giving advice. I like listening to people's problems. So, hey, if you need that as a friend, I'm there for you. Figure out what you like to do in friendships. You know, do you like to be the friend that likes to go out and do that? Don't allow people to make you the heavy friend that they cry to if that's not your thing. And if you are the therapist friend, you don't like to go to the club, then go ahead and do that. Like, don't allow people to force you to be in roles that you don't want to be in. You get to decide the type of friend that you want to be. Um, and there's nothing to feel guilty about. And you might always feel that way, but the happiness and satisfaction that you feel when you choose yourself is going to help you deal with that guilt, okay? Like when you feel guilty, go buy yourself a new bag or go spend some time in the sun and remember why you chose to put yourself first in the first place. Um, because as long as you keep that intention in mind and you keep that foundation in mind and that nurturing aspect in mind, then you can never go wrong. You can always remember why you're doing it. And then of course, you'll have that knowledge and I really feel that'll be beautiful to pour into other people that you come in contact with in life. So yes, guys, that is some tea about how I started choosing myself and how I started putting myself first and how you guys should do the same and why you should do the same. And not feeling guilty about it and not feeling selfish about it and, you know, not allowing people to make you feel guilty for choosing you. Because if you ain't doing it, who the fuck else is doing it? Like, you want me to feel guilty for not letting you play with me? Please. Let's be rational here. You know, don't let people guilt trip you into feeling bad or being a bad friend. Please. You know who you are. That's why it's so important to know who you are out the gate. Because if you knew, you know who you are, then it's nothing anybody else can tell you. And saying no sometimes is what you need to develop that sense of identity so you can know who you are, so you can let it be known clear what you need um, and what you're expecting of people. So yeah, that is a tea, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos that I've been doing, talking about how I personally have navigated a few of these things. So yes, if there are any other videos that you guys want to see, please look them down below in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys and reading y'all's comments. I love y'all so much. Um, also, make sure you guys remember in the description box is the link to book sessions with me, shop with me, work with me, all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I love you guys and I will see you guys next time.